friends welcome back to my channel okay so this is your host amnaz and welcome back again so today i'm going to take down through a journey of a changing a chaotic mess into an organized space okay yes so it's me like basically um i always have my space my room of chaotic okay like messy okay I'm, all the clothes are like messed up in my cupboard my books are not in place or my makeup things my jewelry my toss my clothes my shoes nothing are in place okay so i have gone like to think of a plan so that these things don't keep happening it was like a every weekly thing i would clean on sunday and the, by the end of the week it would be like a mess okay so at a point i even stopped cleaning anything so now that i thought of a plan i hope this plan goes well and it's going well for a week actually so prior to one week before of shooting this video i was like in a total trance like how do i go about this how do i give like you know noting down things or whatever came to my mind i went to blogs and stuff like that and i noted down blogs weren't so helpful but they were helpful for thinking deep okay just going into the matter day so i know i'm at me considering me i don't want to spend much in organizing things and all of that so diy was was a perfect thing and i'm not good at craft okay so that was also like a bad thing for me and another thing was like the organizers and all on amazon are really expensive or me sure just go to a shop they are expensive okay so i had to organize my space in a way which would require less organization or no organization material at all so i came up with this plan to budget myself okay so i took around like uh, 2000 rupees so this series is going to be time plus budget friendly okay but what that i mean by that is first let's go by time okay no let's go by budget because i talked spoke about whatever the budget i'm keeping so it's going to be 2000 okay and 1000 is going to go for your organizing stuff that ever you will require to organize your things okay like something like you know you want a basket to put in things okay so you that goes for the organizing stuff i would also share diy wise okay where you could just use like a4 size papers okay and that also the price of those papers are be including in the budget so it will be like 200 i guess it costed me to buy papers might cost me because i already had papers lying around at home okay if you have papers lying around at home you're in luck okay you don't have to you can save it or just use it somewhere else the money but i guess it was 200 rupees that i maybe it would be okay if i actually went ahead and bought papers so 200 already minus from the 1000 so 800 rupees for the organizers i'll be sharing the links in the description and i'll be making another video explaining the features and how you can use those things okay in another video so sorry for this and do stay till the end of this video because i'll be showing sharing some tips and tricks with you like not tips and tricks some tips that you could use to get started with your cleaning process okay so suppose tomorrow is sunday you want to use the whole sunday tomorrow to clean your space so what are the things that you can keep ready on the today like on saturday okay to clean it out okay so that's all okay that the set now budgeting is and another 1000 will be using to decorate our rooms okay who doesn't want a decorated space and what are the commonly things like you know you can use to decorate your space and not over decorate your space or really minimalist is something that we all use okay as a developer myself i also use minimalist designs okay these days it's too much minimalistic so but yeah whatever we do on that chaotic mess that used to be like how magazines and all are okay so how we can use minimal things and less things on top on the tables and stuff the less we need to clean after all okay so by time friendly what i mean is like you can be a student okay or you can be someone who's working and can have just one sunday like you know to relax okay so we all need that sunday to relax and uh, there can be some cases where uh you know you have one or two days to you know get your cleaning i can't say like you'll require only one day to clean your room because you might even require half a day okay so i just can't 
put it in like that so for two things like if you have one day and what steps you can take okay there will be a second video will be posted right after this video hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so to get notified and not procrastinate on my video series okay so and second thing is like you can also take like 15 minutes just 15 minutes out of your day to declutter your space now how you're gonna do that in my next video all right so i organized this i want it to remain that way forever if possible or till when i want to like change its location or something i want to add in it okay some space like i can add in it as well so suppose there are my makeup products okay so there are like a few of them and i don't want that suppose one specific drawer i have given it to it okay in the future i might require more lipsticks okay so i might just buy one lipstick and i need to have space in it so what i'm going to do in situations like this so everything i had to plan out okay so before starting the tips and tricks that i'm going to provide to y'all is that y'all need the cleaning spirit in your okay now that spirit okay cleaning spirit like motivation okay why do you want to clean all of that things so first thing is that okay that's my tip number one actually and it's really important because when i came up with this tips okay which are going to follow after this and i was like nah tomorrow nah next sunday okay no not today okay it's like you need to have that motivation my second tip is use boxes boxes like the shoe boxes or baskets so if you don't have any of this okay you can go and check the link in the description box where i have turned a paper into a basket okay uh, a4 size paper that you would require to turn into a basket that's actually an instagram drill okay that i had created on instagram so yeah you have to go and click on that and check out the basket okay i didn't want to put diy things how to do things over here if you already know how to make baskets out of maybe cardboard or cardboard if it's lying around okay or uh, like um, paper okay so i'll be sharing a few baskets link in the description they are from me show uh, they give a set of three with the lid so these things can actually help you organize things and keep in one place my third tip okay third tip is going to be let uh, your um waste drugs from your mom or uh, from yourself I don't know from your clothes old clothes cut them out or if you have cleaning rugs wow awesome okay just get them tissue papers okay plastic bag maybe okay just get them ready so my fourth tip is going to be get rubber bands okay if you have like those plastic hair ties okay or some rubber bands that you don't use actually those are like old your kid times okay okay childhood memories want to keep them keep them but then you have to invest in rubber bands because see like if you don't have a lot of wires you don't need them if you have a lot of wires or you have a lot of pens or something you want to stack them or just rubber band them okay then you would need a rubber band for that purpose all right the fifth tip is going to be sweep and mop and this is the last tip actually okay so before the day you start okay or just before starting you can just sweep and mop why because it will make you feel like cleaning more your room okay that's how i felt when i actually swept and cleaned also the previous night actually so i was like i sweeped and i cleaned and the floor is clean but my tables are dirty so i guess i should go and get cleaning okay so that's how I felt. Also, if you have a clean floor and you need to fold your clothes, you can just keep your clothes clothes on the floor. Okay. So if you have a lot of clothes like you want to fold and you don't want to keep them on bed because then the, if you're following the 15 minutes part, okay, the rule, okay, then you can't keep things on bed because you're going to sleep on it and the next day you're going to do the rest of the leftover cleaning. Okay. So it's basically you want to keep it on the floor. So how do you keep it on the floor? Because the floor is dirty. You have to clean it, mop it, sweep it. Okay. So whatever you want to do, make it shine, make a floor shine and then keep all the clothes down there. Okay. And then you can nicely sit on the floor as well. Okay. And you can clean. Okay fold you can do whatever you organize your thing okay so basically your floor is clean mess is clean so and also if it's possible like uh, try to clear up the tabletops a bit like 
clearing off i mean i don't mean like take the things put them in the exact place okay that's not gonna happen because the drawers are full all right so organize them or maybe group them in similar items so suppose there is a hat okay there are like two three hats like headwear hairbands and hat okay so and you have like books okay you have pens so stationery books books okay you just group them together and keep them that way okay so the next day when you wake up you'll be like oh okay this much i did let's continue all right so yes that's it for this video i know it was a very less informative but i hope these things help you and they actually did help me and do subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss the other videos that are gonna come because i'm gonna say it's all from my experience okay experience of i'm 21 right now so experience of 21 years okay and finally i feel like i can keep myself organized because of the steps which i followed which I created by myself actually okay so do hit that subscription button and do hit that notification bell to stay tuned and enjoy the process of cleaning